From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Heil Hitler. Christ, what is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, ein, ein! Ich sag der Bewegung dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Alida, Sienzi is all honey. Da, scusa the car, la vejo. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Führer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Führer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. I would like to see for myself. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them. 
with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But are other teams like this one? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you. Herichter. I understand. Thank you. So. Fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. I told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it. But the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Palina, the Christine, who's name is Yoshto Moshish. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement, particularly when it came to Petrova. Napolia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. Wasted. Stuck in the med tent. But, 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 stop. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodging. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. <laughs> Misha, mm. what you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our cameras already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? You worry too much. Not to be a little on yet. Ouch, sister. That hurts. Ech, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Ligushka. Kazyol. Shaba. both of you. I'm going to be late. Sit!
Now there. Isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know, you're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papasha. Now who's worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No. They told me that's not where I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice on the map. At least you get to fight. Oh, don't tell me at least. You? Fight it. You're both doing your part. Which reminds me. If any of those two Blutki get past you, you know where to send them. <laughs> of course, Papa. They will never get through. Never. Blin! I need to run. They're waiting for me. Miss, you're... Fox. I swear, he would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on my way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. Spasiba, Papa. <laughs> We should replace your old chair. Never. It's comfy enough for me. It's been a while since I played this. You were a natural. Ah, I miss hearing you play. So many impressive medals, Papa. It's your mother. She always insisted you display them. Misha and I were so little in this photo. Seems like just yesterday. Not if you're after fighting. Milimoy, the new partisans I'm training will crush them before they get close. I believe it. Good luck out there. Polina, here to keep your brother out of trouble? Impossible. I have to stay and I don't want to fight. Something smells good over here. Oh, Polina, I saved the loaf for your family. Spasiba. <laughs> You're welcome. Your father has been bothering me for some Borodinsky. Of course he has. I'll come by and grab it later. Be safe at work, Polina. Well, buy this suitcase. Forget something? You're a lifesaver. I know. Misha Spigov. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army Tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. Couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. Now. Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around up there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go in. Morning. Morning, Paulina. How is your father's leg? Finally improving. Thanks. Paulina, have you been hearing? Don't worry. The Red Army will handle it. Well, be careful out there!
Truck broke down. This way is blocked. Move along. The medical officer will assign your duties. She's down the other side of the truck. Mrs. Mrs. Traffic Robber, we'll need you down by the first stand. Plenty of men that need patching up today. Go ahead, join the others. Oh, God! Leave Stalingrad now. Obersteiner, we have the open break and the same gefunden. Alles for the Waffe. Search everywhere. Flush out the Russian vermin. Round them up. You Nazi bastards will kill you all. That was a mistake, old man.
You'll never take the motherland, you Ublutki! Shut your mouth! We've already taken Stalingrad! City is burning! The Red Army will end you all! Just wait! The Red Army can't save you now, old man! Tell Mom I'm off to save Misha. As usual.
I think they're dead! Can you cut us free now? Sister Enka, it was incredible! We're going. Now. Gospodje, I, I, I was so scared that you and... Me? You're the one tied up? Take care of the others. Olya? He's gone. Gone. Oh no. Misha. No. Misha. No. We don't have time for this. We have to get your recruits out of here. If we stay here much longer, we're trapped. You're right. You're right. Okay. Let's go. Misha. We need to get to the Volga. How do we get out of this building? Nisha, focus. How can we escape to the river? There's an exit here. We could make a run for the sewers. But the Germans are blocking the courtyard. It'll be tough. 
Do you have any extra supplies? Weapons, anything I can use? I know there were soldiers defending on the roof. They had the radio. There might be supplies, too. All right. I'll lay down cover fire from there while you get our people to the sewers. If you're sure, Sister, maybe you can reach the roof climbing up there. That should get you to the roof. I'll give you a boost. I'll find a good place to cover you. I know. You've always been a better shot than me. The Pasha is with me now. And I know he wouldn't want us to die in this post office to a bunch of Ubliotki. He would be proud of you. He would be proud of us. Get our people to the sewer. I'll lay them fire from the roof. Don't miss, okay? I never do. Once we're out of this, stay hidden until Polina is in position. Polina! Polina, can you hear me? I'm on the radio. Bullet, I'm not receiving. Boy, Bosha, I hope you're listening to me for once. We are pinned down in the crater by the trolley. Polina, we'll start for the sewer on your signal. You are surrounded, Ivan! Accept your defeat! Rest in place! on your weapon and surrender! Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping, even greater. But no one really escaped something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives, burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrow deep. She was destined to return the favor. And that had made her the deadliest member of my team. 